Okay, two quadratic equations on the spot, you know it already. The first one, this, and that's equal to 9. For the second one, same thing, but it's equal to 10. Again, pause the video and try to do the easier one first. You did it? Great! Maybe the first one's easier, right? Maybe, maybe. So let's just... Okay, two quadratic equations on the spot. The first one, x squared minus 10x plus 25, that's equal to 9. And for the second one, same thing right here, but it's equal to 10. So, which one is actually easier though? Again, pause the video. And, uh, yeah, try it first. Ready? Okay, so I think most of you guys will say this is easier because we can just minus 9 on both sides to begin with, cancel this out, and then we get x squared minus 10x this minus that is plus 16 and that's equal to 0 and we can actually factor this so that's very nice x times x will give us x squared and now we need two numbers they multiply to be positive 16 and together they add up to be negative 10 the correct combination is negative 8 and negative 2 right Perfect. Now we can finish this. x minus 8 is equal to 0, and then x minus 2 is equal to 0. For the first one, add the 8 on both sides. Cancel this out. So we get x is equal to plus the 8. For the second one, just add the 2 on both sides. Cancel this out. So we get x is equal to 2. Done deal. Here are the answers. Now, the question is, can we do the same for the second one? Um, that's That's... Try it. Let's try it because why not, huh? So if we minus 10 on both sides to begin with, let's see. Okay, then what do we get? This and that will cancel and we get x squared minus 10x plus 15. That's equal to zero. Let's try to factor it. x, x give us x squared. Okay. But now can we think about two numbers? They multiply to be positive 15. Together, they add up to be negative 10. I don't think so. Because we can do negative 3 and negative 5, but that's not going to give us negative 10. Negative 1 and negative 15? No. So, we have some trouble here. Yes, we can use the quadratic formula. And yes, we can also do the completing the square method. But we don't have to do any of that. Surprise, huh? So check this out. This is how you can do it without quadratic formula or completing a square. Let's look at the equation again. x squared minus 10x plus 25. That's equal to 10. Well, earlier we couldn't factor this. But now, if you just look at this right here, can we factor it? Yes. And not only we can factor it, but the most important part is that this right here is a perfect square. So let's do the tic-tac-toe right here real quick, right? So we see x times x will give us x squared. Here, let's put on negative 5 and negative 5. x times negative 5 gives us negative 5x. And then this negative 5 times this x will also give us negative 5x. Together, they do combine to be negative 10x. So we know this can be factored into x minus 5 times x minus 5, which is just x minus 5 squared, and that's equal to 10. What good does this do for us? Well, we can just take the square roots on both sides now. Thanks to the perfect square, this and that will cancel. And don't forget to put a plus or minus. Even though we don't know what square root 10 is without a calculator, we can just leave it like that, because that will be considered the exact answer. So that's totally cool. All right, x minus 5. Let's just write it down as plus or minus square root of 10. And finally, we can just add a 5 on both sides. Cancel this out. Ladies and gentlemen, the final answer is just x equals 5. And we cannot combine anything, just write down a 5. And then plus or minus square root of 10. Just like that.